incorporate a exercise regimen into your daily routine. Now I know a lot of people cannot exercise every day because of work and childcare and everything, but if you can try to sacrifice at least 10 minutes within your day and just do some cardio, do some jump roping. As you guys seen, um, those of you who have been following me, I do in between clients, I jump rope, I go outside, I jump rope or I do some kind of dance workout in the salon because it's very important for us to get ourselves moving, okay? If we are not active and if we are not moving our bodies, then guess what? We're not getting that oxygen-rich blood flowing through our body and it's definitely not flowing through our follicles. So number one, the reason why exercise and um, hair growth go hand in hand is because when you exercise, you are now taking oxygen-rich blood and it is flowing through your body, flowing through your scalp, and that gives your scalp the ability to then take that oxygen, that blood flow, and it can go into the hair follicles and help promote hair growth, okay? Hey, Miss Marsha, how are you? Angela, I hope you are so well. I haven't seen you in a long time, hun. So we must exercise in order for our hair to grow. There is no ifs and or but about it. So it's really, really important. If you are trying to get, hey, Miss Valerie, girl. If you are trying to get yourself to um, a healthier state, remember your hair speaks to you. Your hair tells you what's going on in your body. So if a lot of us, our hair feels really dull, it's dry or dehydrated, it feel like it's lifeless, I want you to sit back and think, what does your daily routine consist of? Are you consistent with being active? Are you consistent with you know, exercising? Are you consistent with drinking water? Because the hair is going to speak to you. And our hair is telling a lot of us that, listen, you need to exercise because I'm not getting any oxygen, okay? So again, I wanted to encourage you guys, please make sure that you are in you are incorporating an exercise routine into your daily, um, your daily day, your daily day, your daily, you know, routines. Incorporate exercise. I'm telling y'all, I absolutely love jump roping because jump roping really does help me. It's it's like a whole body workout, really. If you think about it, when you jump rope, you have to tighten your core. So you're working out your abs, you're working out your arms, your legs and your calves are being worked out, your knees are being worked out. You know, it's a whole body workout and I absolutely love jump roping because it's something quick and easy and I strive to do about 100 jump ropes in the morning. If I can't do it in the morning, then in the afternoon in between clients, then I add on an extra 50 and I do 150 jump ropes. And let me tell you, you will break a sweat. So I want to encourage you. And if you have bad knees, then I encourage you to incorporate something like swimming or incorporate something like um, cycling or something else that you won't have so much pressure going on your knees. I thought my hair seemed longer and nicer after I've been working out for a while. Yes, and the workout mm -hmm. is so important because a lot of times we don't, even though we have one body, a lot of times we don't put the systems together and think that, oh, this will affect that. If I do this, this will affect that. So again, if we are exercising, it's going to promote hair growth. Why? Because again, that oxygen rich blood. Think about it. When you're exercising, when you're done, don't you feel a boost of energy? You feel like, whoo, man, like, okay, I'm ready for anything. So imagine your hair follicles. When your hair follicles receives all of that energy, all of those oxygen rich blood, guess what? Your follicles now are alive. They're like, oh yeah, girl, let's go. So now you can go in after you exercise and I, I always encourage, after you exercise, hey, those of you who are coming on, hey, Miss Abe SX, thank you. Hey, Miss Tamika, I miss you. Um, thank you for coming on, guys. So I want to encourage you, after you exercise, your blood flow is, is going, right? Your heart is pumping. It's pumping oxygen-rich blood that's flowing through your body. Go in and massage your scalp. Go in and massage your scalp because that's going to help you with promoting and stimulating those hair follicles as well too so again i want to encourage each and every one of you put in your your daily routine a, a exercise regimen why because it's not only going to help you feel better look better but it's also going to help your hair to be able to be rejuvenated it's going to help your scalp to be stimulated and it's going to promote hair growth Yes, yes, you got to grow your hair. You can grow your hair with the exercise. I'm telling you, I want you to go in and monitor. And I know Valerie said that you've noticed that after working out for a while that your hair, you know, has been growing. I want you to monitor and see, you know, 
after a month of exercise, give yourself 30 days. After a month of exercise, I want you to look at your scalp and see if you're color treated like myself, I can see where my new growth is so I can tell like how much my hair is growing. If you are not color treated, you can still kind of tell because you will get some new growth onto your scalp. So I want to encourage each and every one of you, again, exercising to promote hair growth and then also to make sure you are drinking water. Now, how do you know how much water to drink? Your, the water you should drink should be half of your body weight in ounces. So if I weigh 143 pounds, then I need to drink about um, maybe, I would say, 70 ounces of water per day, which is what? This is 33.8. So I need to drink about two of these a day. So it's really, really not as hard as we make it seem like a lot of times if you're not motivated to exercise it's going to seem like oh man this is going to be something dragged out i'm not going to feel like i can make it so i want to encourage you guys to make sure that you incorporate exercise in your daily routine if it's five minutes start off with five minutes if it's 20 minutes start off with 20 minutes hey some people can go up to an hour depending on your schedule depending on your lifestyle but no matter what i want to encourage y'all hey miss Hangina, how are you love i want to encourage you guys to incorporate some form of exercise into your daily routine and that will help with hair growth not only will help hair growth you'll feel better hey miss Azmin, you're gonna you're gonna definitely get that oxygen rich blood flowing and pumping through your through your body and some of the best exercises you can do cycling swimming for sure you want to you want to make sure that it's something that you can do okay based on your health based on your ability but start off small if you can walk three miles if you can walk four miles if you can run if you can cycle if you can swim if you can jump rope make sure that there are no excuses for you guys okay i want you guys to not wait till january to try to get exercise into your routine start now because tomorrow is not promised exercise has been such a stress exactly exercise not only if it's it's relieving stress from your body but imagine what the exercise is doing to your scalp and your follicles it's releasing all that stress hey mr chris it's releasing all that stress off of your hair follicles as well too again if your follicles are suffocating meaning there's no oxygen getting to them guess what those follicles slowly start you know just dying down imagine what happens if you hold your breath if you hold your breath eventually you're gonna start feeling a little dizzy you're gonna feel like you're about to pass out well same thing with your hair follicles okay if we are not giving our hair follicles that oxygen that it needs and helping it by exercising by getting active guess what our oh thank you love our hair follicles will start passing out and dying off so i don't want y'all having dead follicles my name is Judy Carrasco, the Healthy Ass Speaker. For those of you who are just coming on, I want to thank you for joining me for Lunch and Learn today. And we're talking about why exercise and hair growth go hand in hand. And if you're looking for your hair to grow, remember hair growth starts on the inside. It starts by your nutrition. It also starts by, you know, everything that is going into your body as well too. So you want to think about what is your daily routine? How can you incorporate exercise into that? And I guarantee you guys will start seeing some progress. Now, if you are in need of a consultation, I do complimentary 15 minute discovery calls where we can talk about what's going on with your hair and we can come up with a hair care plan. Or if you need to come in and, and do a actual consultation for hair loss, if you've been suffering with hair loss or you notice that something's going on with your scalp, then you can reach me at bit.ly forward slash healthy hair speaker i'm gonna put it in the comment box so you guys will be able to um get that link and i do my discovery session calls on tuesdays um where we will be able to talk about what's going on and here it is right here in the comment box we're going to talk about what's going on with your scalp and based on what you tell me we can go into a treatment plan and talk about what you need to do in order to get your hair nice and healthier i want to thank y'all for joining me today as i said this was going to be a quick live i did not have a lot of time today but i want to encourage you guys get your workout on get your exercise on and you know one thing that i find that works best for me is when i incorporate things that i don't feel like is exercise i love to dance